So last time we were we had found some summary statistics that we usually with uh, the summary function in describe. So um, if you you're probably interested in seeing how my metrics look like in graphs. So here I use the scatter plot, and if you read what's in the hashtags, you'll understand what's happening. So, um, so in this video, let's brush through everything quickly so that uh, we finish faster. So that just basically tells R to put um, they put to put six graphs on on one document, and so that you can you can compare them easily. So I'll just copy that that, that code and we'll paste it in my R console. So there is my data. So let's interpret it a bit. So it's the title of this frequency of all the with days past. So that's what you are interested in. So the y-axis is frequency, the x-axis is day. So on the first day, I did five always. So there is the point. And the next day, I did I did uh, four always. I, I didn't I didn't do five. I just did four. Then um, in the five, I did five, 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 five. Yeah, that's why yeah, only is really impressive because this is how you would want to have your tricks down. Like if they are like in a straight line like this, you will just get them right end. And in real life, um, this my all is actually I'm never, I'm, I rarely miss all it. Very rarely miss all it. But these other ones, there's a lot of variation as you can see. This is from say Vicky 180. Yeah, this is which from say Bonus, from say 180. Up, down, up, down, half cab, and and Vicky Sharp. Yeah, this is Vicky Sharp. And this line over here is the mean, the mean line. So, as you can see, most of the points are on this top part. So, there's not so much variability in all which is what you should be aiming for in your tricks. Your tricks should be kind of constant like this. 